Okay, hi guys. Uh, this is a video response to the Mark uh, Zak. He asked uh, to help him if I was able to create uh, enable and disable with the K press space button. Okay. I will make this tutorial so everyone if needs to enable disable mesh render by pressing the space K can uh, use this script and this tutorial now. I hope that I understand what Mark Zak wants and uh, here is a quick tutorial what we will do. Okay. We will enable and disable mesh renderer. Basically you only need to download the script. Okay. The script has stupid long name, render, enable, disable, blah blah. Uh, you drag and drop this script on any object that you want to disable or, or enable render. For example, if I press space button on my keyboard, this will disappear. But when I release the key, it will appear. Okay, you do not need to double uh, double press the space. Okay. Now, uh, if I drag this script or, 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 or to any other other object. Uh, it will do the same thing, you don't need to tweak it or anything, okay? If you wanted to disable player, for example, render, you just drag and drop it on the player or whatever you like. Okay, I will draw, drag and drop this onto the player. As you can see, his, uh, the script is here. Sorry for my uh, bad English, I was on trip to the plugin for, from Zagreb yesterday and I did not get much sleep, so if I stop for a second or what, my brain is freezing, so... I need to go to sleep and the rest. Now, let me uh, show you what we what we make, okay? Now, here is the pro era. Uh, when I press the space, he will disappear, and when I release, he will appear, as, okay? As you can see. Now, if I drag and drop this on uh, any object, for example, I will drag script on this and on this, it will do the same thing, okay? Now, the player will disappear and the platform. As you can see. Okay. Now, uh, there are two main things that you must do. Okay. First, you m must put the script where is your mesh renderer. Okay. So, script will disable or, or enable it. And second, make sure go to the edit, go to the project set, project settings and input. Make sure that you create a new space. If you don't have a space button in your game, create new. Okay. Uh, if you don't know how to create new, just, uh, for example, look what size size it is the number of case, okay? If you have 15, create here number 16, okay? I will show you, I will create another, okay? For example, I will create 20, and then I have space, okay? Uh, you will not have the space, you will have some other name here. Rename it to the space, put on here the name space, and positive button is space. Uh, the rest is uh, set up automatically. That's all you need to do. Now, when you press, uh, when you press the space, it will enable or disable the mesh render. I hope that you guys find this tutorial useful, and I hope that I help with this uh, to the Mark Zak and everyone else is in community. Uh, see you guys in next video tutorial. And if anyone have any better solution for Mark Zak, please leave in this video tutorial. So. Everyone in our community of Unity can benefit from your knowledge. Uh, bye guys.